Once upon a throne, there sat a stubborn little king named Mi. King Mi ruled a declining kingdom in the low-rent district of the land of Uzbuz. He sat on his throne, hopelessly, watching the ruin of his beloved empire. Then, one day, one of his subjects announced the arrival of a visitor that sought an audience with His Majesty. Let's join them now in Episode 1 of King Me. Your Majesty, there's a man hmm? at the gate who desires to speak with you. He says it's urgent um, and most important. Uh, I'm too busy. Besides, what did he tell me of any importance? I got everything under control. Get rid of him. Uh, very well, Your Majesty. The man went away. But because of his great love and concern for the king, he came back every day. Until finally, the king grew weary of the constant harassment. Your Majesty, hmm? that man is at the gate again. Uh, why won't this man stop this perpetual bestering? Haven't I got enough problems? The walls of my kingdom are in shambles, my people are thirsty from the drought, and with a power shortage, everyone's stumbling over each other in the dark. And then this dude, what, what, what's he selling, fire insurance? Well, what do you have to lose, Your Majesty? Uh, watch your remarks. Uh, well, what's this man's name? He says it's King of Kings. Um, oh, all right, send him in. <laughs> Who knows, maybe it'll be good for a laugh or two. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Greetings. And now listen, fella, day after day after day you've been bugging me, pestering me, trying to get me to listen to you. Now what's the deal? Well, I've noticed your kingdom's having a few problems. Listen, buddy, things are tough everywhere. Have you seen Lenny's kingdom next door? The whole kingdom's drunk by breakfast and they're flat broke. <laughs> I always borrow my stuff, too. I still haven't seen my lawnmower since I loaned it to him. Why don't you go bug Lenny? Yeah, 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 while you're there, get my mower. Never mind about Lenny. You're in sad shape, friend. Look, it's easy to criticize. Look, it's not easy ruling a kingdom, especially in Muzzbuzz. <laughs> Having to make all the decisions and pressures? Oh, boy. Maybe someday you'll have a kingdom and you can relate. Oh, I know all about kingdoms. As a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons why I'm here. You see, I'm building a kingdom, and I want you to be part of it. Ah, uh, now I get your angle. You're a real estate agent, huh? <laughs> no, I'm a savior. Uh, I don't need no savior. Look, just because things are tough right now doesn't mean I need to panic and throw in the towel. I'm not selling out. Well, suit yourself. But if you think things are bad now, wait until the fireball hits. But if uh, you're wait, not... Wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, the, the fireball? What's the fireball? You obviously haven't been listening to the warnings. All the kingdoms in Uzbas have been warned since long ago about the large fireball that's rolling this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I heard about it, uh, but I never worried about it. I don't believe in it. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we used to joke about it. Uh, how about this one? How many fireballs does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> Three. One to hold the bulb and two to hold the asbestos gloves. <laughs> you get it? You get it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm afraid you won't be laughing when it comes. You mean it's for real? Well, look, I, I figure with the kingdom walls, it'll just bounce off. No, your walls are so weak, they're useless. Well, we'll rebuild the wall. With your power shortage, your builders can't even see the wall. Look, we got the finest fire department in the land. If it comes, we'll douse you it. You forget with your drought, you don't even have any water. Uh, yeah, well, what do you suggest? Allow me to sit on your throne. On my throne? What can you do? I will give you the light of the world, water so you will never thirst again, and I will rebuild your walls with solid rock. What makes you so special? What makes you think you can do something I can't? Because I built this kingdom, me, and Lenny's kingdom, and all the other kingdoms as far as the eye can see. But my subjects were deceived by a lying, wicked prince who wanted my throne. Now I let the people choose their king, and they chose Prince Darkness. Prince Darkness. Yeah, I think his name was on the lease when I took this kingdom. Yes, but the problem is Prince Darkness had a death sentence out on him from my father. Now the fireball that's coming for Prince Darkness will take not only Prince Darkness, but all of his subjects, too. Gee, that means me. But, but what can I do? I signed the lease. If you give your kingdom over to me, the lease is void. Do you see? I'm the true owner of all of Uzbuz. Well, how can I be sure you tell me the truth? Believe and receive. And you will know even as you are known. You sure Lenny didn't put you up to this? The choice is yours, King Me. Hmm. Can't, Kings. I, I do believe you. So, well, here's my crown. It's yours. I hope it fits. If not, we can adjust the band or line it with Kleenex. <laughs> I don't need your crown. I'll just take your throne. 
And so, King Me received King of Kings as Lord of his kingdom. But King of Kings has more in mind for King Me than he first expected. Keep listening for our next episode as King Me goes through a period of adjustment.